here we are at the end of the 11.40 turn, the start of the 12 o'clock turn. And the biggest event of that 11.40 turn was the French assault on Hougoumont, uh, mainly the first two assaults of the game as the French uh, advanced into the woods and pushed back some of those uh, British skirmishes. Foy, as I said before, Foy's division driving through the woods here with Bachelieu on his right, pushing forward unopposed through the open paddocks with Jerome Bonaparte on the left. Now they're strongly supported by uh, a number of different light and heavy cavalry uh, units just watching their left flank there. In the centre, Lebeau's 6th Corps begins to move up, mainly protect their flank, but also just to be in a position to possibly advance through the centre here. I mean, they're, they're relatively weak, two divisions, but uh, they thought they'd move forward anyway. And over further to the right, the initially the French uh, artillery began to move forward to occupy this position here to fire on the Allied lines. But of course, they need to be supported by infantry, so they're moving up in support, and there'll be some cavalry moving up as well. And as that's happening... Ooh, the French figured, well, we may as well move up and get a little bit closer to the front. Uh, there's no point hanging all the way back here. So they're certainly going to move up to be in a more threatening position uh, to attack, potentially, potentially attack that, that Allied line. The Allied response has been to, to really focus on this, on their right flank. Um, they haven't been able to do too much. There's been a bit of manoeuvring in the centre here. Uh, at the start of this 12 o'clock turn now, Wellington has, has taken a ride over to the right here. He's activated, you can see, a number of brigades in this area, uh, some, some cavalry as well to help out on this right flank. Uh, his far right flank is staying pretty static for the time being. He's just going to focus on trying to send um, reinforcements into Hougoumont uh, to try to slow down that French advance. And of course the guards leading the way. Uh, so yeah, Wellington has shifted far to the right here, right behind Hougamont, and taken command of the situation here on the right. Over on the left, things remain pretty quiet. Wellington was very angry at the Nassauers, uh, being in the wrong position, so he forced them to rush over to where they should have been, um, over to the left here on his left flank. So they've, they've secured that. Unfortunately, some of the, um, the Allied cavalry, uh, some light dragoons, have been harassed by this single artillery piece here. Uh, it's already caused two hits, so they'll have to pull back. Fortunately, they got a light cavalry activation at the start of this turn, so they'll be pulling back uh, a little bit into some safety. Uh, otherwise, it stays pretty quiet, but you can see the French beginning to move up on this side of the field. This is now the start of uh, the 12 o'clock turn, and of course, the main focus here will be on Hougoumont, and we'll see how the situation develops uh, around this complex.